Okay, I'm going to walk you through some of the diagnostics and settings that are on the da digital dash gauge. Um, it's the same for all the gauges. Uh, there might be a few extra ones if you have, you know, one sensor might not have certain settings and two or three or four might. So we'll walk through those. So first go to your wrench icon and you can arrow over to the right here and it gets you into the diagnostics screen. And here you can check the air pressure in the system. So if you hit air pressure, it'll show your sensor one and your sensor two, and then the PSI that's currently in the system. So this could be really good if you're not sure, you know, if sensor one is your drive or sensor two is your drive, you can dump air out of your trailer and you can watch sensor two go down, you know, and then you know, okay, that's that one. Uh, it could also tell you, you know, hey, if it won't let me calibrate, something's wrong. You know, if it's at zero PSI, it's not connected. If it's at 110 or something like that, then it's connected to your air brakes or some other, something other than your airbag. So this is really useful. Um, there's also the software version, which could be helpful if you call in for tech support. Um, and then if we arrow to the right, that gets us back to this calibration and settings. If we go to settings, we can get to units. So on units, you can switch between uh, pounds and kilograms here. And display settings gets us to the brightness and contrast. So the brightness is a slider. And the contrast has some plus and minus arrows on here. Um, so if you didn't like what the contrast looked like, you can adjust that. And then back to our config names, inputs, which we've gone over. Um, and then you can change the language here. Arrow over for different options. And that is it.